Hello everybody, it's that time of day again, we are playing indie horror games and today we are playing Enclosure by Epis Box Games or also known as Niven Hedinger, a big supporter of my channel and I'm a big supporter of your games, I really love them. Let's see what this one has to offer. Are you sure who you really are? The game is inspired by PT, a well-known horror teaser which has the looping method of telling a story or end progressing the game. The project was done under one week, it does not include any complex mechanics or groundbreaking visuals, simply short, atmospheric and story driven. Hope you enjoy the game, let me know if there are any bugs or any issues. Yeah, yeah, two endings, bad ending, true endings. Let's see if we can find them both. Movement and interaction. Okay. And we're in the game. Ooh, this feels like the beginning of PT, yes. Also, I like the po low poly graphics. I've said it a million times. And we're going out. Oh, we're in some sort of sewer system. Are these cans? Maybe. Can we use this? No. We don't have a sprint function. That's okay. Maybe we don't need to. I like the head bobbing when we're moving. And the hallway loops again. Okay. With a few things changed, I think. Can we interact with the radio, though? No. The Excuse me. Damn. Okay, let's reloop. I'm guessing uh, the bad ending will be if we don't do much. Now the cans are placed elsewhere. I wonder, can we go back through this door? No, we cannot. So, what have we done? Not much this time, I have to say. Hmm. Let's keep looping. And now the cans are at the original spot. No trash bag, two pallets. Still cannot interact with the radio. Maybe we can. It sounds like just static, to be honest. Something there at the end, I didn't get it quite. We are obviously replaying the game because I want to get both endings. And something weird here. Relooping. The pallet is down. I don't see the cans anywhere. The radio has moved a bit to the left. Hello. <laughs> ah. <laughs> that was expected, to be honest. Let's move. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. No, no. Why did it have to be that? It was creepy enough already. Can't interact with the raid. Okay, are we the body or are we the person that beheaded the body? Oh, okay. We are the person that beheaded the body. See, a nice jump scare would be jump scare here would be the head starting talking. Just saying, just giving ideas. Oh, the radio is moving ever closer. 
Finally, at the end of this investigation, the suspect has been apprehended. The young man, Andrew Walker, is currently charged with a first-degree murder and battery. Speaking on behalf of him is the lawyer, who claims that Andrew was possessed and didn't commit this horrible crime. Not a very good excuse, if you ask me. Not a very good excuse, if you ask me. Uh, oh, I was possessed and I killed them all, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Uh, are you... Well, an Ivan, you made that game called the Primary Color Man. Now you're doing the Flesh Colored Man, I'm guessing. Behind you. You know what? Screw it. Huh. Okay. Oh, and there's no door now. Ah, sizzle and fizzle. No? And a barrel here. Oh, and there's no door now. That's always good. That's always good. Nothing there. I don't know. Is it me? I mean, I feel like me, but what is me? Is me the killer? Ah, shit. So have we been living in the sewers all this time after we killed that person? Mm -hmm. None of them are you, Andrew. Even you are not you. Can't you remember the accident? The exact genetic copy of you created thousands, killed thousands, just for the sake of it, while you were chasing down ghosts. And now here we are, the fallout of your good intentions. Now, define good intentions. Why was I chasing ghosts? That's a lot of trash. Okay, you got me. I don't like it, but you got me. Let's keep moving forward or keep looping forward. Door is gone again. Kill him, or I'm guessing not kill him. We could go through the door without uh, picking up the axe. That would require the different ending. Let's see. Only way to escape is to kill him. What if I go back? Ah, screw it. Let's kill him. True ending. Thanks for playing. Press escape to quit the game. Okay, it was nice. You had a couple of moments that got me with the scare effect, but uh, I want to see the bad ending too before we... before I comment more on this. Give me a moment here. I'll get to the part which I'm guessing is what defines the ending, and I'll see you there. I'm back at the spot where we're supposed to pick up the axe and go and kill him that person and uh, this time I will not pick up the axe I think this will be what triggers the bad ending let's see yes indeed so we didn't break the circle it's a room full of corpses I'm guessing bad ending thanks for playing escape to quit the game all right let me go back to the main screen and let's close off this video so that was a closure, a short horror, uh, looping hallway walking uh, simulator game by Navin Hediger. 
It was nice, I liked the atmosphere, I have said in other videos that I am not particularly fond of the looping hallway mechanic, I find it to have been overdone, but when kept uh, the number of loops you do, when kept low, it's good, and you did this here, and that's fantastic. Fantastic. Sorry, I bumped my microphone. Uh, the simple graphics were nice and uh, sweet. I like low poly games. Uh, I've said many times too. You got the scare on me, not with the ghost, but with the tall, flesh colored person uh, and then the head. That one got me. And it actually got me during the second uh, playthrough. All in all, it was nice, but I didn't quite get the story. Are we like um, coming in terms with what we did? Uh, are we really us? Uh, were those clones of us or other people? Uh, there is. If I feel it's a bit open to interpretation, but my take from it is that we are not Andrew, the play, the person that uh, killed, uh, that was reported on the radio. We are one of his clones, and we had, if those were clones of him, and then we had to break the circle by killing Andrew. So, and, and hence the true ending, uh, when we... Uh, we inherit all this uh, killing and will to kill by Andrew, so we had to kill him and uh, break the circle. And if we don't, the bad ending, we are forced, we are not forced, we are destined to repeat the circle, to continue the killing and all that. At any rate, this is my interpretation. It was a nice game, albeit a bit short, but totally enjoyable. I would suggest that everybody go to the link down in the description below. Try this game out for yourselves. Help indie developers get their games out there. Also, thank you everybody so very much for watching. Please consider subscribing. Click the like button if you like the video. Click the dislike button if you didn't like the video. Leave a nice comment. Leave a comment with a suggestion of what you want to see me play next. All those nice things help my channel grow, and I really, really appreciate it. I will see you all in the next one. Until then, stay safe and have fun.